In the so-called lowlands of Mongolia, people are still enjoying their summer. In the Seyan Mountains, on the other hand, autumn has suddenly arrived. As have I, as I introduce myself in a settlement of the Satan, a small and little-known tribe whose name means the people of the reindeer. The Tsatan are nomadic and their life is very hard. They depend entirely on the reindeer for their survival. It's August and there's already snow, but they don't mind. If there's snow, they say, there aren't any mosquitoes. In fact, to the Tsatan, this is the best time of the year. The bothersome insects have disappeared and there's still food for the reindeer. They milk the reindeer twice a day and make butter, cheese and yogurt. But they don't consume just dairy products. They also eat meat and wild fruit. After their milk, the reindeer are at their leisure for the rest of the day, free to chat amongst themselves. While the reindeer graze, the tzatan may go down to the valley to buy tea, tobacco, flour and salt. There's no doubt about it, the snow is piling up. It's cold enough to freeze your toes and chill you to the bone. Everybody carries his weight here. The youngest people cut firewood. They know that the fire will need to be fed. Inside their tents, people pass the hours talking and drinking tea. Their idea of hospitality is to share what they have with you. And that's what they do. Gombo is the head of the clan. He's married and has eight children. The after-supper chat is prolonged, and they take care to see that the fire doesn't go out. <laughs> the howling wind outside seems to have quieted down, so people step outside to see the reindeer for the night. When the docile reindeer return, each family separates its own animals. Then they milk them and they give them salt. Despite their hardships, the Tzatan haven't lost their smiles or their good humour. <laughs> 